Hello, my name is Derek Kinder. I'm a hydraulic engineer with the Risk Management Center. In this video, we are going to discuss simulations in the Risk Management Center Reservoir Frequency Analysis RMC RFA software. In this lecture, we will introduce you to the software and provide an overview of the setup and capabilities. We'll demonstrate the software, including steps to create a new project and analysis, and we'll discuss the software settings. RMC RFA simulations incorporates the input data, which includes discharge gauge, inflow hydrographs, stage gauge, and volume frequency curves. Analyses, which include flood seasonality, reservoir starting stage duration, and empirical frequency curve, and reservoir models, in order to perform the stochastic simulations. The stochastic simulation results in frequency curves. Once a new simulation is created, this simulation window shows up in the desktop area. In area one of the window, you enter a required name and a description. In area two, you enter all required simulation parameters, which include input parameters, simulation parameters, and output options. You can click the tabular results tab labeled here as number three to see generated tabular results after a simulation. In area four, you will see generated plots after a simulation. Now we'll discuss these in more detail, starting with the simulation parameters. The first tab on simulation parameters are the input parameters. First, you select statistical parameters from each drop-down menu from previously completed analyses, including a volume frequency curve, flood seasonality analysis, and starting stage duration analysis. All selected statistical parameters for a simulation should be informed by the same critical inflow duration. Next, select a previously completed reservoir model. Selecting a reservoir model will populate the plot with the features of the dam, like the elevations of the spillway and the top of dam. Finally, choose which inflow hydrographs to use for the simulation and assign each hydrograph a weight of influence for how often it will be sampled for the simulation. You can perform a simulation with as little as one inflow hydrograph, or you can use all of them. The weights do not need to sum to one. Instead, relative weights are calculated based on the weights entered by the user. The figure on the right shows completed input parameters. The next tab for simulation parameters are the simulation settings. There are three options for simulation type, full uncertainty, expected frequency curve only, and median frequency curve only. For rapid sensitivity analysis, the user should select expected frequency curve only, as run times are significantly shorter. Simulating the full uncertainty will have the longest run times as it calculates the median curve, expected curve, and uncertainty bounds. Next are the routing options. The routing time window in days indicates the number of days to route each simulated flood event. The routing time window should be long enough to ensure the reservoir stage has enough time to reach a peak stage. Next, a routing time step is selected from the drop-down menu. Options of 15 minutes, one hour, six hours, and one day are available. This selection will affect simulation run times as a 15 minute time step will take approximately four times longer than a one hour time step simulation. The time step needs to be small enough to capture the rising limb of the inflow hydrograph. Next are the sample options. The number of realizations should be chosen with consideration of runtime, accuracy, and project needs. Often a user will run the simulation with a smaller number of realizations at first in order to ensure that the simulation configuration is running stable and producing reasonable results. It is recommended that the final simulations use 1,000 realizations or more. This will produce accurate uncertainty bounds while also having manageable runtimes. The skip inflow events with AEP greater than option allows the user to skip inflow events with an annual exceedance probability greater than the value selected in the drop-down menu, which is shown in the figure below. The skip inflow option, similar to number of realizations, should be chosen with consideration of simulation runtime, accuracy, and project needs. If reservoir frequency relationships are only needed for extreme events, a skip option of 0.1 can be used. This will reduce run times while still producing accurate results for exceedance probabilities less than or equal to 0.1 or a 10-year return period. 
finally, the PRNG seed is a number used to initialize the pseudo random number generator in a stochastic simulation. The auto setting creates a default seed of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The user can define a new PRNG seed if desired. The seed is used to initiate the PRNG sequence of random numbers. The same seed will always produce the exact same sequence of random numbers, thus producing the same simulation results. So using the same seed ensures repeatability of results. Once all input parameters and simulation settings have been selected, click the Simulate button to begin running the simulation. Run times for the simulate full uncertainty could exceed 30 minutes up to a few hours in duration depending on the inputs and the properties of the computer. The simulate expected and median frequency curve only options will only take seconds to compute. It is recommended that the expected only option is used for preliminary calibration runs. However, final results should be based off the full uncertainty results. The last tab of simulation parameters are the output options. The first option is what frequency curves are developed. One, two, or all of these can be developed for a simulation. There are three options. Stage frequency curve is selected as the default and the most common curve developed by RMC RFA. Peak discharge frequency curves are created by processing the peak release for each flood event from the stochastic simulations instead of the peak stages. Discharge duration frequency curves are created by sampling the maximum average release over a duration so this option requires a duration to be set. The RMC RFA simulation framework relies on critical duration. As such, discharge duration frequency curves will be more accurate for durations at least as long as the critical inflow duration. The final option is selecting the uncertainty bounds. There are three options available for uncertainty limits during the simulation. 90% bounds are the default. After entering all required simulation parameters, click the Simulate button. The project will automatically save any changes and begin the simulation. If the simulation does not begin, check the message window for any warnings indicating why the simulation was not successful. While a simulation is being performed, the user can cancel the simulation at any time using the Cancel button. While the simulation is being performed, a progress bar appears to the left of the simulation button showing the progress of the simulation. When the simulation is complete, the following image will appear, which notes the total simulation runtime. Once the simulation is complete, a frequency curve plot will display in the main window under the Frequency Curve Plots tab. The stage frequency curve is the default curve developed following a simulation. If other types of frequency curves were output, other curves can be selected from the frequency curve plot drop-down menu. This includes the option to view the peak discharge frequency curve or the discharge duration frequency curve. These can be used to inform spillway failure modes, releases for downstream control points, or levy loadings and other items. On any of the frequency curve plots, you can select an empirical frequency curve from the drop-down list that was previously calculated in the analyses. These can be displayed on the same plot as the frequency curve as shown here in the blue circles. Tabular output for each of the frequency curve plots can be accessed with the tabular button. Which plot is displayed when the button is selected is tabulated. Once the tabular window pops up, the user can right-click within the window and select all, copy, and copy table with headers for easy input into a spreadsheet. You should now understand RMC RFA simulations, including selecting simulation parameters, how to complete a simulation, and how to view plots and tabular results.